Yo, listen, I got the brat with me, right? The vibe, stop playing with it. You see, you see what's going on, right? Upside. Yo, what's yeah. up, man? She up next. Let's you take it over? Drill. Let's do a drill. Go get it right now. Right? Yeah, Let take it over. Ben took over. Yeah, stop yeah. Stop playing with it. Tell them, tell them about records. <laughs> Go get them records. <laughs> the records is recording. Let's get it. <laughs> You know what it is, Superstar J V I P Saturdays. Got somebody special in the building. I've been trying to find her for the longest. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm I, I'm very serious about this. I've been trying to find her for this for the very longest because she's I, I've been following your career, mm -hmm. and you've been grinding. But I I, I want to start first because you know you, you the brat is here. Mm -hmm. You know the doll, the brat. You know what I mean? The doll. Uh, the doll. Now, I got 5 million listeners on the side. That's cool with you? Yeah, facts. That's a little bit. You know what I mean? Because you're independent, so 5 million. Like, 5 ugh. million is crazy. Yeah, Let's like go. a little 30, little 20% of 5 million. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> now, now, hold on, hold on. Uh, I probably got like 20 million worldwide. So if somebody in Hawaii listening to you mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean, an a Asian doll fan somewhere in uh, Waikiki or some <laughs> shit, they hearing. So the extra 2 million guys that might not know who you are, you introduce yourself. I'm Asian Doll. Um, 26 years old. I'm a female artist, like one of the hardest. One of the hardest. One of the hardest facts. Yes, so, one of the hardest queens, man. Yeah, queen of drill. So. Queen of drill. Yes, you take you taking that. I got that. I earned that. You definitely earned it. Facts. I earned that. That wasn't even nothing I even took. Now what? Now I, I want to start from the beginning. When did you really start loving music and making and taking it serious? I saw Love of Music when I was a kid because my mother used to rap. Oh, word? Yeah, facts. Mom Dukes was Mom, rapping? She was rapping. She was rapping. Just like me, like the, the stuff that I rap about, she was rapping about that type of stuff. But I started, um, got it from Mom, and then I started taking it serious high school. My brother went to jail. Okay. So I started taking it real serious. I had like a lot of, I hang with a lot of boys. So. Yeah, you, you're very rough. But I, but you kind of <laughs> shy. I know you probably. Yeah, I, facts. All, all, uh, like if you read my like my bio, like all the illest females, they 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 fuck with me. Like mm -hmm. like Remy, like mm -hmm. Nikki, all like if you look at like uh, they really fuck with me. Yeah, facts. So I had to bring you into my my joint because I know the the rough ones they. I know how to handle them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. You really do. <laughs> so, Saz, man, crazy ass Saz, fire sign. Fire sign. Now, you said now, um, you but yeah, grew um, around boys. Mm -hmm, I grew up around a lot of boys. So, um, they was rapping. Like, mm -hmm. we was rapping. They was rapping in the closet. Um, with like, I don't even think we, I don't even know what type of mic we had, but it was real cheap. So they was <laughs> rapping. Real cheap. <laughs> they was rapping, and I was going through so much, like, um, just like my life, just mm -hmm. a lot, losing my brother to like. 10 years and we was out in high school so mm. it was just kind of rough I lost a couple people so um, I was just real sad all the time so I'm just like you know what I'm gonna just write a song and then I wrote it but I was so shy to do it and mm. they persuaded me to do it like they told me to do it and I did it and from there I just started taking it serious like when I heard myself on the mic when I got a rap now let me ask you when was the first record that you was like yo I'm, I'm kind of popping right now my first record my I was rock in, up. I my was, rock up. <laughs> Don't talk about my accent. <laughs> my <rock up. laughs> but I was in high school. I was in the twelfth grade, and, okay. I, and I wrote a song. It was called "Keep Calm." Yeah. And I put it out out on Facebook. I was already kind of lit on Facebook because I was like, you know, yeah. I was in the streets. I was, you know, dressing, doing shit, yeah. doing, going to parties, throwing parties, stuff like that. I was young. I was like a lit young teenager. Wow. So when I uh, put it out, it was anything that I did, whether it was a fighting or anything I did, people was looking at it on yeah. Facebook. So when I put my music out, people you said was a clicking fight? it. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> you was actually uh, chill, uh, chill, posting chill, chill. fights on chill, Facebook? Chill. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. He was whipping bitches ass on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> to this day, no, yeah. i <laughs> You got to relax. You're too rough. You know what I mean? Yeah, but. But yeah, I put it out in. I just put it out regular. I was scared, and I just put it out, and I went to school the next day, thinking it was like a regular school day. Yeah, it was not a regular school day. I went to school. Everybody playing a song. Some people was playing it being funny. Some people was playing like really rocking with it. Yeah, we in class. It gets silent out of nowhere. Somebody start playing my song. Like uh -huh. so, it was people gravitated to it real quick. So I just knew I'm like, okay, I can't go to school no more. Mm. Soon as that happens. So. Yeah. You had an excuse to not go to school anymore, I started huh? skipping school and going to the studio. Wow. Gee. Now, uh, you know, I respect, you know, you put in this grind. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I came from the mixtapes. I was, like, real, like, one of the biggest mixtape DJs out. Right? So when I first heard you, I'm like, you put a lot of projects out. A lot of projects. Yes. Mixtapes. Yes, mixtapes. You know, the grind. And um, 2018, you was with, you know what I mean, you signed with Gucci. Mm -hmm. 
you've been through so much. A lot. So much. <laughs> it, it feels like, you know what I mean, it's it, it, it's in a short time, but really not in a short, short time. Short time, yeah. Facts. But you've been through a lot in that short time. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, apparently you was probably real young when you signed, when you signed with him. Yeah, I was young. Yeah, you, was, you know what I mean? You were young. And um, what happened? Because I, I just never heard what happened. Like, it was just like, yo, it just didn't work out. Yeah. Um, I feel like with 1017, um, it was more so, it wasn't what I needed. Mm -hmm. um, at that time. At that time, for yeah. my image and stuff. Because when I signed the Gucci, like, he got me when I was on a world tour, me and Bad Baby. That's when Bad Baby had came mm -hmm. back out run. It was on a world tour. So um, I had this image where it was like, I'm the queen of teens. Mm -hmm. Like I had an image and um at that time I met yeah. Yo, yeah, 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 fucking <laughs> aggressive ass is Queen of T, okay. Queen of T, yeah, in fact, I, I tra like it's a transition because a lot of I still remember I told you I started when I was in high school. Yeah. So anybody that's in high school rapping at that time, the list kids is listening to it mm -hmm. because we all in school. Yes. So I was the Queen of Teens and my management at the time, they like groom me into like be a superstar where I know how to like perform. Um, I was Which you are. Yeah, thank you. I was recording every day like a robot. Like I had like a, when I wake up in the morning, it was rap, rap, rap. Wow. Go to sleep, rap, rap, rap. So they really like grooming to be like. This beast a, you are now. Yeah, facts. And um, it was a lot of, I had a lot of deals on the table, a whole lot of different ones. And um, I didn't want to sign to a, a big major label mm -hmm. at that time because I wasn't I didn't know like a lot. You're such I, a smart girl. I, thank you. Yeah, at that time, damn, you made decisions. And it was a like lot that. of money, and I was broke. I was I was young. I was broke, but um, I I used to be around a lot of sound artists. Mm -hmm. Like when I was coming up, you before seen I had, this shit? yeah, yeah like, I seen it like on my own two eyes. So I seen a lot of people's situations, and I'm like, okay, I'm not. I know not to do that. Mm -hmm. I know not to do that. So I learned from people's mistakes and what they was going through, like far as like mainstream artists. Yeah. So um, it really didn't move me that um, I had like a lot of deals mm -hmm. um, because I was just so stuck on the bad. I was just so focused on like mm -hmm. the, what a, the outcome that'd be bad for it. Yeah. But um, I didn't want to sign like a major deal, so. When Gucci, I'm like, I was just thinking, I'm a thinker. Like, mm -hmm. I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, I got to sign to, like, a big artist because yeah. I don't want to go to a major and then be, like, just a part of... Like, a like, I, I, like co-signs. Yeah, like, you, and, see, you see a lot of female artists now, they facts. have big co-signs. Co-signs, facts. That's just what I needed. And I feel like Gucci, he like, he was he one of my favorite rappers. Like, mm -hmm. just seeing, like, Gucci when I was coming up and stuff like that, he just, like, how he just worked with artists and the stuff that he did for artists. Like, I'm like that's iconic so i want to be a part of that mm -hmm. and my management they thinking superstar they thinking overseas they think yeah. you're gonna be a rock star like they yeah. thinking like that so i was trying to tell them like okay i'm gonna go with gucci and they wasn't we just didn't see the eye to eye and i was just so young making wow. decisions and they used to always make decisions for me so i signed the gucci mm -hmm. like like without them even knowing i signed and they found out and then it was that so Bunch of stuff. Facts. And but when I was with Gucci, it just didn't work out because of um effort and the stuff that we needed as artists, it just wasn't provided. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um I was stopped a lot from achieving. Yeah. And certain stuff. Like it'd be certain songs that I do that'd be great songs mm -hmm. and then when it come out and it's blast on the radio, yeah. the mixing would be off. And it just sound horrible. So I just feel like it was just a lot of mm -hmm. politics lot of, and yeah. crazy shit that came behind it. And I told you I didn't understand like a lot of shit with the business. So I just wanted to like leave. Well, I was know, so young and I was just so ready to just like yeah. do music. This is what I've been waiting for for a long time. So it's like you're very talented at it too. Thank you. I just feel like um, with you is that you've been through a lot and um. Like being young and being a celeb, you've been a celebrity since high, like your high school. Facts. And the 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 camera's always on you. Yeah. You can't do nothing. nothing. You know, <laughs> Asian doll don't pay a bit. She might have <laughs> gave a five dollar ten. Asian doll is still cheap as fuck. I you went know? I went through that too. Even when before like. When I had started getting like a little money and I went to a restaurant and I didn't even know because I'm real humble. So I didn't even really know like I was mm -hmm. like when I go to a restaurant, I'm not thinking like expecting, OK, everybody in the restaurant to know who I am. So I was young, bro. Yeah. And I, did, I didn't leave a tip one time. And then it was like a big thing on the Internet. But I didn't know. Yeah. That's my first time being able to go eat out by myself and be able to pay. So wow. I didn't know what the fuck. Yeah. yeah. Asian it was, a big, it was yeah. a big thing. Like Asian don't leave a tip. 
I I overly tips. I tip the shit out of their ass now. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I, I I keep a level, but we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. Yo, for you to be so aggressive, you have so many male fans that love you. Yo, speak, Yo. <laughs> speaking of male fans, I was in North the, the last two days, yesterday and the day before that. Let me ask you something. Eighty five percent male. Males. Eighty five percent male. What's up with the girls? We gotta get the, we gotta get these girls. The girls, you... they be front line. The the, the glue percent of girls, they, they be there. They be front line. But the it be so, it's always been like that with me. Always, always. The males fuck with you. They fuck with me. That's kind of like fire though to get Nick dudes to come out to their crib and come support a female that's rapping. Yeah, they don't. That but you know what that that goes from the like the nineties like. You know, when people used to listen to Kim and Foxy, like, we used to, I used to listen to Kim and Foxy, like, yo, yeah, like, spit, spitting shit, and it's like, it's even better because, you know, the girls are always going to come. Mm -hmm. You speak that shit for the girls, they're going to mm -hmm. come fuck with you. Yo, they're going to be singing it, doing the FaceTime, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, one of my favorite records that I felt like it should have went a little bit more, none of that shit. None of that shit. Yeah. It, it was it was released independently. Mm-hmm. Like, everything I do, I feel like supposed to, like, do way more, but I have to... I, I understand it because I'm not signed. I don't have a machine, but I'm okay with it because I like real numbers. I like, I like um the shit. I like everything to be authentic. I don't want to like. No, 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 no. Let me ask you. You know, because I, I, I'm, I'm kind. Of, I, I feel like I'm an OG in this game, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not. I'm not an uncle. None of that shit. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm outside with you. you know I, what I mean, you, I you, say that. You see, I look good. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I, you know what I mean. So we ain't, we ain't doing all that. But mm -hmm. um, I feel when, when you know. Major labels, like, mm -hmm. my advice is that, you know, should Asian Doll sign to a major label? Would she entertain that? Um, I feel like right now, yes, because of what I know. And yes, and you come in with your terms. Yes, facts. I, I feel like if Asian Doll had a label and, mm -hmm. like, just now, you know, like, like we, we met, we built our, we, we family now. Mm -hmm. You can call me OJ, I need this record, you For know what I sure. mean? So, yeah. Um, I feel like if you had a machine behind you, it's over. You got the look. You're beautiful, mm -hmm. and you can really rap. Everybody know that too with me. Yeah, and that's why I like I fuck I mess with the industry because they still accept me even though I'm not signed. I, all my friends is signed mainstream artists. I be right there supporting them. Mm -hmm. They be bringing me out. It be vice versa. So it's like a balance with me too. It's not like I'm just like trying to like oh mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying. It's, it's a balance, and like I told you, I'm really humble and. I like patience. Yes. Because I'm not the I'm not dumb at all, but I'm not the smartest person in the world. I don't know everything and mm -hmm. I know that. So I like to just like figure stuff out and then like I go crazy cuz I don't want to seem crazy like getting a big opportunity but I'm just so like I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying so I want to know what's going on, but I feel like now I know what's going on, so I would definitely like sign like sign, but yeah, we, but we in get your to terms, that. in, in your my terms, terms, yeah, we gonna get to that. Turn. We gonna we gonna get to that because I know it's gonna happen. We gonna get the bag. Now, yep, yeah, definitely. <laughs> look, look at look at the marketing. I, I love the cover. Thank you know you. what I mean? Your, your, your little ass, you was locked up, <laughs> man. You got your little locked up face <laughs> on. Now, wh why did you come with that? Uh, with with with, with the mug shot. Um, I wanted it to be a different cover, and yeah. everybody wanted to um think thought it was a good idea to put the mugshot. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I've been going through this thing too, where I've been trying to listen mm -hmm. to other people's opinions. Cause usually I'm just so used to doing everything myself and just like, okay, I want to like this, I want to like this. And that's and I, so now I be listening to like feedback and what everybody else thinks. So I'm like, okay, we gonna go with the mugshot. I didn't even want the mugshot to be on there. It, it was hot. I liked it. Thank I, you. I loved it a lot because it was real. It just show it shows you. And then also, man. I like how you said I can listen because I feel like a lot of times we get we get young artists like you still you know what I mean mm -hmm. you still you still you know very young mm -hmm. and sometimes the artists want to you know you doing so much you be like yo I got to do the director yeah. I got to do this and it's like Asian doll just got to concentrate on music music like sometimes like if I I know you be like if I just had, can concentrate on just making records and not yeah. going around here and yeah, thinking the video that and, is so true and being, the, and being acting like you the manager like, yeah I book it right here yeah, you know what I mean that like, is so true you know I think that it would uh, be great for you yeah. and 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 I see and I see you not stopping you're not letting I'm up. not I've been I'm, and it's crazy too like I haven't even went full throttle like I haven't even went like my hardest nonstop like I be stopping. Like it be, I, I don't even be stopping, but it's just like I tap back into my. At first, I didn't used to tap back into my like a, being a real human. Mm -hmm. I was like a robot. I was just like rap, rap, rap. It was this, this, this. It was like I, I didn't even see like the real world. I had a car accident for me to like snap out of it and just wow. 
figure out, like, just see, like, okay, you in the real world, like, I had a car accident and almost died, and nobody didn't even want to help us. Mm. So when I seen that, I'm like, oh, people really don't give a fuck about you out here. Like, it made me tie back in into a real, being a real, real human. Was but at first like, I didn't. But so just, you know, even the car accident. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, with Vaughn passing and just so much things. It, have you ever had time to just, like, let out and be a human? Like, you know what I mean? It's just like ever since, you know, all this happens, it's – you're always on. You always mm. on the camera, like Facts. you know what I mean. Now I'm like, do you sit there and be like, yo, I, you know, and be like, yo. At first, I didn't, especially when none of that shit came out, because that none of that shit was made from just like me responding to the internet and everything that was going on, and so I and I was just booked for like damn a year and a half off one song, mm -hmm. like every other day, like for a year and a half, probably two years. Of one song, so I didn't have a time for a, a long time. But I feel like now. Mm -hmm. I do like that's why I be in New York that's why I be vibing that's why I be chilling that's why I be moving the way I be moving because it definitely helped me tie back in into like being a real person and just like healing yeah facts cause I, I, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you a story I I, I Vaughn was like here the first time mm -hmm. it was him if you look on it it's like a classic interview cause Dirk Dirk been coming up here I, I knew Dirk for a long time mm -hmm. but Dirk brung Vaughn I'm like yo who are, who's this he's like yo it's my artist King Vaughn he's like yeah. oh yeah yo and, and it's, it's like it's a story mm -hmm. and it feels like y'all have the same type of vibe like it, it seem aggressive but you kinda yeah. shy yeah he's sweetheart and he's shy you know what I'm Definitely. saying? Like, I'm a sweetheart and I'm Yeah, shy. you're a sweetheart. I see, like, you know what I mean? I'm not really scared of anything, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, I see that aggression, but I see, like, the person, you like, bet. yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you know what I mean? It's, I, I just say it's our environment, how we grew up, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to always just wish, like, damn, what if I wasn't born into the family I was or what if I wasn't, like, yeah. born in the hood I was at? Like, it would be different. But, but it made you stronger. It did. Because, Definitely. You, you know what I mean? People probably, like, people would have broke. Yeah. You haven't. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? Certain, certain too. things, you be like, yo, come on. This is mm -hmm. this is me. Facts. Asian doll, the motherfucking big Let's sash. Go. Let's go. You know go. what I mean? Yeah. Like, tell them the title of the, of, the, of, the, of the project. Let's do a drill, too. Make sure I go get that. Let's go do stream a drill. that. I said, let's go drill. I'm fucking that up. That same let's, thing. Let's go drill. Yeah, let's, let's do go. a drill. <laughs> now, you have had so many type of, um, like, you, you just don't stay one version, you know what I mean? Yo, that's so, I don't, that's yeah, such a terrible yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You don't stay in one version. And I, I think in music, you know, are you going to start exploring other records than Drill? Um, Yes, I feel like, too, with Drill, um, Drill is not my first genre. Like, just like, you know, English is my first language. Mm -hmm. Down South Beats and just that type of swag, that's like my, that's like English for me. Yeah. Drill is like my Spanish for me. Okay. Facts. Like, I got to write my drill song. Like, my other song, Records, I don't even have to write Records. it. Records. Stop saying that. Stop <laughs> talking about my accent. No matter how long I've been in New York, they still going to talk about Ruckers. my accent. Yeah. <laughs> but um, drill is like, everything that was going on with me, I feel like it wasn't a time to be soft. It wasn't a time to be singing. It wasn't a time to be, it was time. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was angry. I feel like everything that everybody said about me, did to me, I'm just going to say it. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like anger. It's like me letting my anger out. I, feel, I don't feel like I'm angry no more. I don't even really have nothing else really to say on the drill beat unless some new shit pop up. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just me expressing my feelings. Like at that moment, I wasn't sad. I wasn't, um, I was angry. Mm -hmm. Like every record is, I'm, you could just feel it. Like I'm just mm -hmm. mad. I'm angry. You see what I'm saying? I was hurt. Mm -hmm. So Just right here, just... Just real life stuff. Just real writing. life stuff. But I wasn't giving it to him like, here you go. It was just like. And nobody could write that type of shit you drill. do. Like, you it know was what like mean? that type of tone. Yeah. Yeah. Like nobody could just put your anger and just start. So that's why they know you could write. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm ready to do. Um, I got a lot of records. A lot of records. Especially a lot, of, a lot of melodic. I was just having a talk yesterday with my friend like in the studio. And he was just telling me too. He just sent me down. He's like, yo, bro, like tap into like. Your old self, like, do some new rec, like, don't do another drill song. I'm like, what? <laughs> he like, don't do another drill song. You got it. Like, we know you You got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. You got it. You got it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He was like, go up, bro. And I'm like, you're right. I was just sitting there listening. I'm like, you're <laughs> yo, right. you, yo, you got the New York girl <laughs> slang, too. What? That's how he bro, was talking. That's on, how bro. Dougie was talking. He was like, yo, bro, you got to move, bro. You got to go up, bro. Get <laughs> money, bro. I'm like, all right, you're right. 
Yeah, you like I'm your bro. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> bro. <laughs> now, now before you leave, right? Mm-hmm. I always say uh, I I have a like a a certain thing. What is the do's and don'ts in Asian dolls VIP? What's the five don'ts that you you can't stand in your VIP? In my section? Yeah, in your section. Five don'ts. I five don'ts. You can't be pushing people I'm with. Can't be disrespecting them. Okay. Pushing them, nothing like that. That's a don't. Doing you too go, much. You got doing too much. Then you get to going off on my people, not even knowing they with me. Now okay. Now you look dumb. Then you got to go. So you can't do that. Um. Four. If I feel like if you start trying to grab me, a, a lot of times they be trying to grab me. Like, okay. Always trying to grab me. I just feel like that's so crazy. Like just to you know grab you're somebody. a celebrity, right? I know, but it's just like why are you grabbing somebody? I'm not finna <laughs> see Beyonce in the club and be like, yo, let me grab her. <laughs> like, what the, like, you, you know, know you know, fifty had a fifty said had an ill ball. He said, "Yo, he said I had to learn to not try to shoot my fans." You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Vaughn used to kick like he's a kick the, like not kick him, but he's like push the like the girls and stuff. They used to be grabbing and stuff. I had to like have a talk to him like, "Yo, bro, listen, you can't do that. Like they love you. Sometimes you gotta let yeah. them like grab up on you and stuff like that." Me, I'm different. I'm a girl. Yeah, no, nah, ain't you grabbing on you. You see what I'm saying? So you can't grab me, try to touch me, nothing. Number um, three. Number three. Don't grab the bottle. Yo, I was about to yo, that's one of my that's oh one my of my God. that's one of my number one things. We call it guzzlers. <laughs> you know those heavy paws? The bottle then came out and these motherfuckers is like yeah, and you t- and you can you looking like God damn the like, cops is about to be gone. Come on now. The guzzler, you gotta call you, them guzzlers. You can't grab the bottle. I'm not even gonna lie. You grab the bottle and you're just holding it, trying to pull everybody's shots and you still holding the bottle, you gotta go. <laughs> you, gotta go. you gotta go. I don't even really drink like that, but you make me wanna grab the bottle. Yeah. This is not yours, bro. Yeah, because now I gotta get another bottle. Come on now. You know, and you know the ill stuff, I'm gonna give you a, a secret. Don't ever let the, the waitress pour. They be pour, over pouring so you mm. can buy another bottle. Oh, so when that's they be opening, I'm like, nah, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Don't, you don't. I'm need stopping them from, yeah, from now on. No, because they, they they doing it so it yeah. can be going. I'm like, yo, I'm telling you, you know, I'm I've been I'm in the clubs five nights a week, Facts. so I see that shit. I'm like, no, but we good, we good. I bet I'm yeah. still doing that. Now we got the guzzles, we got them out. Um, Number two. Um, let me see what else. Too much cameras. Facts, fact. That's true. Too much cameras. Too much cameras. Sometimes it be I right, because I ain't high shit. So I ain't really type of little private. I ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't really got nothing to hide. I ain't with nobody I'm supposed to be with. Okay. So you can record. Just don't get in my face out with it. Yeah, but it's daylight. Yeah. Um, it was, um, it's a lot of don'ts. It's a lot of don'ts. All right, else? so number one. Give me a number one before you leave. I'm trying to see. Number one. You smoke well, hookah? I record. That's I don't. I, I don't like hookah when I'm in the club by me because it's hot. It make everything hot, and then it gets just. Hot. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I don't smoke hookah, so I, I, I just really be like seeing hookah. a lot of people be like hookah abusers and stuff. I think my top one is attention seekers. Mm. You gotta go. Say if I'm performing, it just feel like every time I'm performing, somebody touching me, trying to whisper to me and tell me something in the middle of me saying, I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's just like, why do you think this is a, the right time to have a conversation <laughs> with me while I'm in the middle performing and there's people recording me? So you actually understand how a DJ is. I, I be having artists. I be DJing mm-hmm. and they're talking to me. I'm like, yo, my, my, my man, I'm trying to yeah, like, like concentrate to the crowd. You got a whole party to entertain. So you had a person actually try to talk to you yeah, while all you All the before? time, bro. I don't like that. I get real angry. Like, I don't like that. Or oh, you we just, can't get angry. We can't get the brat. Angry. Or you, you just in the way, like, and you just standing there, like you not lit, you not turned up, you not singing along, you just standing there, mm. like you a hater, you gotta go. Yeah, facts. So that's my top one: attention seekers and the secretly haters. Attention seekers. Seekers. <laughs> she switched <laughs> the voice up. <laughs> y'all know y'all say y'all were very like New York is top, smart. Top New York for for New York slings. Um, come on. Word of my dad. Okay. Uh, let me see. Number two. You be around New York. Come Day on. Day room. Okay, that's some jail shit. Okay, okay. I don't be around those guys who say that. Okay, Day room. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Number God. three. Come on, you got to do the New York Number accent, too. Um, um, what else? What else? Um, that be saying. Come on, what the girls say that y'all always say that y'all shouldn't be saying, but when you get mad. Oh, I heard, um, a leg. Like, what? you a leg. A leg? Or a smoochie. I don't know. That's kind of like. Smoochie's a, like a thought. Okay, a smoochie? Yeah, a smoochie. All right. You heard me Ice Spice be like, she be- Smoochie? smoochie? Yeah. All right, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know what a smoochie- Are you t- teaching me? Hey, you That's the only person I really heard like say smoochie on the track. Yeah? Yeah, smoochie. So those smoochies. Yeah. What, what what collabo would you do? Who would you do a collabo with? Um, A collaboration. Ooh. I can see an Ice Spice and Asian Doll record. I love Spice. 
I ain't gonna. Oh, I'm. What y'all say? I'm jacking spice. I'm jacking ice spice. I'm jacking her. Did you ever reach out or y'all? We ever friends. Talk? We fought. Well, we not like friends, but we like Instagram friends. We fought each other. We got. So did you ask for like, yo, let's 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 put something together? No, nah. Not yet. Nah, you got. It's. I feel like too. You gotta let people shine. Mm-hmm. You gotta let people get their time. Like I feel like ice spice. Like ice spice. You know, she she been new about me. She been like you see what I'm saying. So she let me get my shine. She ain't hit me up like, oh, let me do a song. Mm. So it's, I feel like I just let everybody get their shine. And oh, you're so we, sweet. Yeah, we got a mutual friend. And it's respect, man, too, though, Man, fuck bro. that, man. I'm we need to get be... a record in. I'm Asian dog and Ice Spice. Fuck <laughs> all that shine shit. We try to get to the records, man. It'll come, though. It'll come, though. How we be moving around, yeah. it'll definitely come, like, facts. Especially you move around in New York. But I appreciate you. My, my, my brat over here, you know Asian dog. You know, you know, say, oh, she said some you know New the vibe. York shit. That's the fourth one. I, I got it right. You know the vibes? You know the vibes. You know, and then y'all girls be like, suck my up. They crazy with that. Suck. They got Yo, me saying something dick. Why, man? Well, you have none. I know, bro. I just said it. Just I don't know. Just the top tier disrespectful. Yes. It's just like when you say that, it's just nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Let's get it. Well, let's get it. You know what it is. <laughs> Asian dog, you heard? Let's go.